Hi, it's Cheryl from Cheryl Stunning Succulents. Today I'm in my yard. I want to harvest or depop my Echeveria. I think this is an Echeveria Sahara, not sure, because there's 150 species of Echeveria. And this one here has about 12 babies, a dozen babies. So it's time. Um, they're gonna need a lot more room, so go ahead and pull it out. I have Justin, my assistant today, and we're gonna see if we could place the mommy here. Okay, so the mommy broke, and let me show you how it looks like. And so I'm gonna remove this and replant her. This will um, produce roots in about two, three months. We'll put her back. So now we can start getting the babies out. Remove um, the leaves that are dead. And go ahead and put that here, Justin. Yep. Now these I might propagate, it might be viable. So I'm just gonna throw it under the bush here and check on them later. Remember the babies need protection from the sunlight. Okay, I'll propagate these later. So let's count the babies. We have, how many do we have here? This one is a nice size one. Um, I always say that wait until they're teenagers to harvest your um, babies. This is about like a teenager side. These are still quite small. This is a small Echeveria. Um, that way they um, are able to sustain themselves. Um, otherwise they get fried. They need protection from their mom. So I will have these in um, indirect sunlight for about two, three weeks, okay? And then um, after two weeks, I'll start watering them. And you should be able to plant them again. Now you're gonna wonder, what am I gonna do with this? I'm not sure if it's gonna continue to have growth. So I might just toss them or just put it in my garden of shame in the backyard just to see if it's gonna grow some more um, Echeverias. Turns out this mother had 15 little babies, but after cutting the umbilical cord, we're gonna go ahead and return her back to her home so she can rest. Just like that. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.